Welcome to this uh, final quick um, take tutorial session and now I will show you why I like PDG in conjunction with Renderman in Houdini Solaris. Um, I have prepared um, a new scene with our machine that we have seen in the past tutorials and on the left side I have a copy from our original branch but this time I have changed the material on the ground to a greenish color. I have also renamed um, the primitive paths and renamed the mesh assignments or the geometry paths in, in the shading networks as well as in the rendered geometry settings. I changed um, the resolution on both sides and placed an output image. So here we can check open EXR2 of course, I forgot that. So I will save the file. In those situations you would have to start the render process here and start your sequence, animation, whatever. And then you click here and do the same again. But PDG helps to automate this. So and for that I will jump to the tops um, desktop and currently it's empty and what we have to do is to create a new top network and here we have of course a local scheduler and we will jump directly into it and the first thing that we have to do is we go to the job, job parameters and check the single the single scheduling slots per work item one and this is highly important when you have a single seat RenderMan license because otherwise RenderMan would try to render multiple inputs at the same time. But this is not possible in RenderMan. You have to, you can only render one image at the same time with one RenderMan license. And that's why I have activated that. So, and the next thing is we need the rob fetch and I will um, choose um, our output. This was the HTTP render man relative path. I will copy it twice and here I will choose the second one. They all predefined and I will create a null just for a better overview call this out now it should render out our images and we will generate the nodes beforehand so that we see that everything looks correct and i will jump up and here we see we have two outputs two images the cook order is one hopefully it will work now i will click right on it and We'll click cook output node, save again. And then the first image should start with rendering. In a couple of seconds, the image was already rendered. So RenderMan has jumped to the second one because RenderMan has detected that this image already exists. Maybe I should view the work item. And as you can see, the image already exists. And now we wait for the second one. So I will forward this. And here we back again. So the second image took only 42 seconds. So this is also a great way to estimate your overall render um, times by looking at the cook timetable. So I will check the second image too, of course. And it is here. And our original one. And there is something that I like about PDG really a lot. What I like to say is because uh, you have multiple other options to work in the pipeline with all those tools that um, PDG provides. What I like the most is 
is the send mail function. So send mail is really handy. So of course you have to use your login data, authentication data, your protocols and so on of your uh, email provider. And then you can, yeah, basically write your own email address right in here. That's your sender address and your recipient address. And you can call it random and job complete. So for example, and this is your message. And when you have set up it correctly, you can leave your computer or workstation without a display. You don't need to check it uh, in any way. You can start your render process and look at your smartphone when you get the notification from PDG, from RenderMan, that your job is complete. And this is something I use almost in every project because it takes away the pain to check the rendering. Is it, is it finished or is it not? And you can even uh, go further with that. You can use a Python script, for example. And with the Python script, you can execute a code to shut down your computer with a Python. You, you can find it on Google. You have thousands of variants of it. It's for Linux, it's shut down minus 15 and so on. And then when this path is executed, it will shut down your computer and send an email before. But when you want to do this, you should uh, use uh, the wait for all node before. And this node makes sure that each of those um, um, render operations, yeah, they will start not before the stuff in front of the chain is finished. And this is especially highly important when you want to send out the email that takes a couple of seconds and want to shut down the computer in this at the same time. When you don't do this like that, it will not be finished with sending the email before your computer gets shut down. And yeah, this is a very handy tool to manage your render operations. Um, of course, there are a lot of uh, tutorials already out there about PG, but I like this the most for RenderMan. And of course, you can also start to render um, animations from other files. So when you have an external hip file, you can load it from here um, with all the presets, with the correct ROP setup, and you can even start the process without having the heavy scene open. I really like this and I highly recommend to use this. And this for now, what you have seen until now is uh, the first part of this entire tutorial series. I will now come to the main part of uh, this series about how to build a scene with all the assets that I have built in the past six months. So see you in the next uh, group of tutorials.